BoxingVoice.com live with Danny Garcia. Danny, just clear up the rumors, man. All over the media, internet, people assume that Zab Judah ran you out of your autograph signing. I was there. I got the video for the proof. Just clear up to, to your fans what really happened. They know, he, ain't ran, he ain't ran nobody out of nowhere. The autograph signing was over. It was time to leave. He came to the autograph signing, and people still didn't want his autograph, so he came for no reason. Was it a bit upsetting that he got there and basically to cause ruckus to something you was doing to give back to your fans? I mean, it's just to show you what kind of person he is. I mean, like, there was, there was families in the building, there was children in the building. And just to start, just to do something like that in a, in a public place, it just show, like gives boxing a bad name, man. It makes him look un uneducated. And I'm a smart person. I ain't dumb. I know how to carry myself in public. I know I ain't, ain't got to argue and and ask somebody I'm not because I'm, I'm a calm person. I don't have to argue with him to to prove what. I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do Saturday night and that's destroy him. People feel that with the flipping of the table and the back and forth antics with Zab Judah, he might have got under your skin and it could cause something to go wrong in the fight. I, I didn't flip the table. My dad flipped the table. I just fixed it. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I, he can't get under my skin. I'm the champion. Like, I'm the champion. He's doing that because he's scared. He's trying to find a way, try to get under my I'm not, I'm not worried about him. He got to come to me. If you want the world title, you got to come take it off the champion. So we've been here before with Zab. He's always been a dude to talk with a slick mouth and, you know, get underneath his uh, opponent's skin. But in the big fight, he doesn't show out. Are you expecting the same Zab Judah as always? Uh, I'm expecting whatever, man. Like, a lot of people say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go in the fight from round one, adapt to the fight, and do what I do best, and that's win. Any added motivation because of all the back and forth and him threatening your father, saying he's going to get Joe Judah to fight your father? I mean, any added motivation to knock this guy out in his hometown? I'm always motivated. I'm always motivated, and that's why I, that's why I am where I am today. That's why I'm the champion, because I'm always motivated when it's fight time and when it's not fight time. So I'm always motivated. That's what I love to do, and I'm going to be ready Saturday night. Now, the Southpaw, because they lead with their right hand, the liver is open. Are you going to expose the body in this fight? I, I'm, a, I'm a body puncher. I always go to the body. Um, so I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to mix it up. Um, counter, go to the body, jabs, everything. I'm just going to mix up my attack. In the past, veteran fighters like Morales and Kendall Holt, they've experienced their power and decided to retreat and make the fight a little less entertaining, where you have to be the guy coming forward. Are you expecting that with Zab Judah since in the past we've noticed that he doesn't take body punch as well? Um, you know, I'm just going to be alert from round one. I'm going to be alert because, you know, he, he might think he's going to be able to box me, but he might come at me early. So... I'm gonna be alert. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be um, focused, and I'm gonna go in there and, and be focused for 12 rounds or or less. Is it your intentions that this fight could be basically a passing of the guard? He's from Brooklyn, but you're from Philly. We got a new big stadium here that a young champion could take over and reign. Well, that's what I told people. I told Luck since I'm fighting him in Brooklyn. My new nickname is going to be SS, Super Swift, because I'm taking his name after I beat him in Brooklyn. Thank you very much, Box. SS, Danny Garcia. Super Swift. All right, Danny.